Hello everyone, I am here to discuss about the role of the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines in support of the Finite Element Analysis Roadmap. This is Dr. Ria Liza Canlas, the president of the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines. First is that I want to discuss the rationale why we decided to put up the organization. Well, the first um, motivation is actually to have a legacy of our guru, Engineer Vicente de Reyes, who is a Department of Science and Technology Balik Scientist Program being hosted by the two universities, National University and Kiyaki University. And according to our guru, his mission is to convert the projects from academia to industry or from research turned into actual products, or from abstract to reality. Another important uh, reason is that there is a need to align uh, the efforts, specifically of the academe and the industry with the industrialization or Industry 4.0. We want to come up with global competitive individuals in terms of skills building, aid in research, innovation, and entrepreneurship, and to come up with industry-based solutions. We, the selection of the pioneering officers are very much um, multidisciplinary, or let's say they are properly targeted in terms of the selection because the officers are exposed in different fields such as civil engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautics and aviation, material science, physics, geology, and science. The officers are connected with different industry types. Some are in the academe, some in government, and in private institution. We, comes, we come from different age groups and generations, and we have varied qualities such as some are technical, some are in business, and some are in administrative. What is the uniqueness of the organization? Well, the organization caters to different fields of industry types as long as the finite element analysis, simulation technology concepts applies. And But recently during the, the concluded strategic planning of the organization, we are expanding the scope, not just uh, about FEA, but also on other technology that may happen before and after FEA, and that is geospatial or geo, um, geographic information system, uh, artificial intelligence, and of course, CFD. We are now advocating all of this technology. We will work towards in in standardization and certification in the application of this technology. We will develop experts and will offer solutions and one example of this is the so-called business process outsourcing where we are eyeing or um, having in our goal that in the very near future we'll be able to develop this expert and we will be uh, or the Filipinos can now accept some type of uh, out outsourcing of uh, design projects or analysis projects servicing uh, foreign countries. While the our organization FEIP did our strategic planning we identify some strengths and these strengths are follows we are a pioneering organization we have diversity of members we are multidisciplinary and since this is localized we can offer competitive pricing compared to other industrial countries we are composed of a power team and we are equipped both with technology and knowledge. We cater FEA, GIS, AI, and CFD, and somehow our expert engineer, Vic D. Reyes, is MSC dependent. Well, MSC is one of the most sophisticated solutions used in industry. While for the opportunities, we saw that FEA is in demand, therefore, it is a good niche to enter into there is a scarcity of experts where that's an opportunity to come to come in 
and we do cross-border parties. Philippines do not have the technology. There is globalization. There is standardization. There is a need for standardization and, of course, certifications. What is the vision of FEIP? FIP ambitions to be a center of excellence and leading technology and industry-based data and solutions provider in the fields of FEAGIS, AI, and CFD in the Southeast Asian region to promote competency building and well-being. And in order to achieve that vision, the organization identified eight mission. And these are, number one, promote the latest technology in terms of FEAGIS, AI, and CFD. Number two, prepare non-professionals and professionals in the fourth industrial revolution. Number three, upgrade skills to be globally competitive, to aid in standardization and certification processes, provide industry-based solutions, industry, academic, and government linkages and regional partnerships, perform service and corporate social responsibility using technology-based information to the community, and of course, utilize research and development as a backbone in all of our activities. And in terms of core values, it will be excellence, innovation, and patriotism. This is how FEIP operates. First, FEIP is a nonprofit association formed for scientific, social, and civic service, aid in development goal of the country for public good and service. Primarily, our objective is more on getting our members and to engage our members into research and social responsibility. Since we are a nonprofit organization, so most of our um, source of uh, resources would be coming from funding and sponsorship. In terms of how we will be servicing the community, we are gearing towards training and consulting and thereby coming up with a pool of trained technical people. And this will lead into a promotion of a wide adoption of finite element analysis simulation technology in the research and innovation in academic industry, government, and hopefully in the business process outsourcing of FEA works. And for the membership, according to Article 4 of our bylaws, Section 1, a member should be technically inclined individual in any field deemed to have the need for the technical skills promoted by the organization. Maybe any of the following, but not limited to undergraduate or graduate of engineering, sciences, and mathematics, and even medicine. He, she must be willing to attend regular meetings and seminars as instituted by the organization. And the membership packages or fees are as follows. We classify the members according to industry classified as small, medium enterprise, wherein their asset is about 100 million or less with a 2,000 pesos annual membership or industry classified as large companies where asset is more than 100 million, the membership is 10,000. University would be 2,000 and all consultants or experts are free of membership. For the professional, these are a graduate of a university degree. Members are further grouped into their respective technical field of specialization. Each field is represented in the, in the uh, board of officers elected by their respective group if a particular group has reached 30 members and the membership is 1,000 pesos. We also accept trade members, those that are not degree holders and are not students as well. Members are classified under the trade as a technical field of specialization. And this field shall be represented in the board of officers elected by their respective group if that particular group has reached 30 members. And the membership fee is 500 pesos. Students are those that are actively affiliated in the universities by way of their student registration. Members are classified under the student as technical field of specializations and this field shall be represented in the board of officers elected by
their respect if that particular group has reached 30 members and the membership fee is 500 pesos. That's all for now. I'll continue my discussion about this membership in my next vlog. Hope to be a member of the Finite Element Institute of the Philippines. If you're interested, simply um, visit our Facebook page, Finite Elements Institute of the Philippines, and just send us a chat, a message, or direct message, and we will gladly assist you. Thank you.